Hi, welcome to Paranormal Captivity. Can you guess what I'm going to talk about tonight? I actually debated on making a full-blown video about the clown sightings because two of my really good friends on YouTube just made videos about this and they're kind of like right where the clown stuff has been happening. So if you want to hear my friends Stephanie or Danielle talk about their creepy clown experiences in their hometowns, definitely check them out. But I just thought I would give my own take since this is such a hot topic and it gives me an excuse to wear clown makeup. So majority of these clown sightings in the U.S. started just in like about mid-August of this year, 2016. And now it's October 1st, the day that I'm recording this, and there are so many states that have been affected by this at this point. It's just crazy. According to the New York Times, there's been 12 arrests linked to the clown sightings and at least one death. Most of the arrests were from people reporting things that weren't actually happening. Uh, one was somebody who was in a van and they were stranded on the side of the road and they ended up having people call the cops and say that they saw a bunch of clowns around the van. There were no clowns. Somebody just was trying to jump on the bandwagon and act like there were clowns and this poor person with their car stranded on the side of the road was just like, I don't know what they're talking about. I'm stuck. <laughs> now the one death was because there was a kid who tried to break into a house with a clown mask on and got stabbed to death. There's crazy stuff happening around this in real life, in the, uh, the mainstream media, in forms of hoaxes and pranks. It's just a really weird thing that's going on this year. Just less than two weeks ago in Ohio, the schools got shut down because there were threats being made that there were going to be clown attacks at the school. There have been threats of school shootings by clowns, Facebook pages made about clowns who are going to terrorize groups of people or certain areas. There are tons of reports of them standing by a van, standing near the woods, luring somebody to them, standing by the street and waving at people, just being ominous and weird. I even heard one where kids were waiting for the school bus and got chased by one. Like, who wouldn't be afraid of clowns at that point? To me, clowns are not that scary, but Random people trying to run at children? A little creepy. Supposedly, the recent sightings are a mix between two different kinds of clown sightings that are traditionally known as phantom clowns and stalker clowns. Phantom clowns are usually reported by kids, a lot of times in wooded areas, where they're trying to lure them somewhere, possibly abduct them, talk to them. And then with the stalker clowns, they're more out in the open, I'm trying to prank you, I'm going to get you, I'm trying to scare you kind of clowns. Now the first major stalker clown incident was in 2013 in England. And since then it kind of died down, but this stuff here in the US just blew up this fall and people had no idea why. Now a few years ago I saw a prank where somebody was dressed up like a clown in a parking garage, just scaring the crap out of people with like this giant mallet and they were like slamming it onto dummies and blood was going everywhere. It was awesome. So I know that like the, the public clown scare thing has been a thing for a long time. And of course, clowns have been represented in the media in a scary way for years. Like, there's tons of movies where clowns are the main focal point of fear. So there are a lot of people who have legitimate fears of clowns from those movies, or it could just be something that's ingrained in them that they don't know the origin of. Now, the one in England a few years ago was more of like a publicity stunt slash art performance, and the ones recently no one can find an explanation for. At first they thought maybe it was related to the movie It coming out again, um, or maybe it was some other type of viral marketing for something. But no company, no organization related to anything with clowns has said that it was involving them. So that leads a lot of people to think that maybe people are drawn to evolving this and becoming part of this because they want to be a part of something that's gaining national attention. And then a lot of reports that cops get, they go try and investigate, don't ever find anybody, and they wonder if maybe it's a form of mass hysteria since a lot of people have this ingrained fear of clowns and this sighting thing is becoming more and more popular. It seems like a lot of the news stories I found were within this week. So do you think it's fueled by fear? Do you think it's something like online mass marketing that none of us have caught on to? Or do you think maybe people just really like that people are dressing up like clowns and freaking people out and they just want to be a part of it? I didn't even know until I was doing research for this video that we've had sightings in Indiana and they are very recent. I guess they've had at least four reports of clowns 
and one of them was of a person in a full-blown clown costume knocking on people's doors. And I've heard of people saying that there are ones with laser pointers and they're like pointing them inside people's windows trying to get their attention and then they look out and there's just a clown. So I don't really know where it originated from, but I kind of like this trend. It's creepy, it's weird, the only thing negative is that possibly it could hurt people and that people are using it in a negative way. If it was just random clown sightings, I think that's pretty awesome personally, but I'm not too scared by things. I think if I drove by a clown in the middle of the night, I'd be like, what? That's awesome! So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just strange. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the clown thing. Do you have a fear of clowns? I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I know of some people who actually are clowns and I'm sure that they probably are not enjoying the negative publicity being put out there about clowns at the moment, especially if they have anything that they were going to to be a clown entertainer for within the last few months because they probably just got all kinds of horrible looks for people who think, oh my gosh, are you one of the scary clowns? <laughs> like, it'd be a pretty bum deal if you're a performance artist who chooses to be a clown in public because you're either getting a lot of work right now or none. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did not enjoy hearing about the clown sightings, you can always give this a thumbs down. That way I can keep it in mind for future content. However, if you did like hearing about the clowns, give it a thumbs up, please. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. I do post pretty frequently, and if you turn on your notifications, you'll get notified every time I upload. I'm Kat, and this is Paranormal Captivity. Have a strange day. Bye!